Cheese and onion is a fantastic marriage. My brother and I loved mum's pie almost more than anything else. Roughly slice three onions. No need to be too precise. Add butter and gently cook the onions. Plenty of pepper, plenty of grinding. It is essential to cook them slowly so it draws out their sweetness, making them soft and fondant. A good pie needs good pastry. We're going to need 60 grams of butter and 60 grams of lard. Tumble in some flour and switch on. Add three tablespoons of ice cold water to bind the mix. Lightly knead and roll out the pastry. This is quite a nice trick. It just flops into place. It's particularly useful when you've got very, very short pastry. To keep the onions nice and moist, add half a cup of water. Now to the wonderful Lancashire cheese. Grate it coarsely for the right texture. For me, it is the only cheese for this pie. It's irresistible to keep nibbling little bits, I tell you. So, time to assemble. Layer of onions first. Cheese. Dare I put more pepper? I think I dare. There's no herbs, there's no bay leaf, there's no nutmeg, maybe. It is just cheese, onions. Pepper, and more cheese. Run some milk around the edge here. You could use egg, but Mum never did. Saves on an egg. Invert it over, and then just push down into that recess just made. Squish it together a bit. Holes in the middle to allow steam to escape. Cut. Careful not to drop it, of course. So I just want to push down to get the excess air out of there through those holes. Always use the knife on the side if you want to do this. It's not essential at all. Into the oven. Bake in the oven for 40 to 50 minutes. Just pop it there and just... This I use just to get the sides off. That is a picture, I must say, even though I say it myself. Here we go. Cheese is sort of curdles and and the onions are moist. Anyway, thanks, Mum. It's a yummo scrummo pie, I tell you.